founded in the aftermath of two devastating world wars. The United Nations was dedicated to the simple but profound conception that working in concert, the nations of the world can avoid the worst expressions of inhumanity and thus promote a progressively more peaceful, equal, and prosperous world. Today, Guyana is satisfied that the existence of the United Nations has been a distinctive and unrivaled force for good in our world. Its peacekeepers have stood in harm's way to shield the most vulnerable. It has inspired agendas for development, which have transformed the lives and livelihoods of countless people around the world. Its embrace of values, in a, values and rights of every human being has conferred dignity on the distressed and downtrodden. And its promotion of respect for international law has been a compelling disincentive to unnecessary and unmitigated conflict that has nurtured the peaceful co coexistence of states, including through the respect for the territorial integrity and sovereignty of all states. We therefore commend the UN for the impact it has made over its 75 years of existence. We recognize and laud the citizens, international civil servants from every country, including my own, who have served unreservedly and sacrificed unselfishly to make the UN what it is today. We look forward to the UN continuing to address the challenges and needs of our time in order to live up to its own lofty ideals and promise. Global challenges of our day, such as climate change and the impact of COVID-19, must be successfully countered. We must take urgent action to equip the organization to implement its many decisions, resolutions, and outcomes. The debate today in relation to the Security Council and making it more legitimate, effective, and representative must be resolved expeditiously. Mr. President, in 1966, a newly independent Guyana immediately joined the United Nations and pledged to be active in making an honest contribution to advancing and realizing the ideals of the organization. Guyana renews that pledge today and call, calls on all member states to commit likewise so that, so that we can indeed transform our world and achieve the future that we want and the United Nations we need. I thank you.